Hey guys, I'm Thomas. And I'm Melissa. Welcome to Home on the Hitch. We travel around in our RV trying to find ways to make every moment count. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. If this sounds like you or you're interested in RV travel, hang out with us for a little while and let us answer some questions for you. Today, Telco Plains area of Tennessee and the Skyview Drive. This is Bald River Falls. It's absolutely gorgeous. Stick around for more. <laughs> Watching the neighbors. We don't have any neighbors though. There's one way over there and one way up there. Mm. Not Bad really. day for Melissa. Not much to see all the way around. <laughs> <clears throat> you have to admit that's part of the fun of being in a campground is just to see everybody. That's true. Groovy little sight though, out the back. All right, would you like to go for a walk? You gonna go for a walk? Sure. Let's go for a walk. What happened? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's a handle there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can't reach my right Well, don't get, well, knock your head out of there. So, I think this place is really, really new. So, everything hasn't grown in yet, but... There's They're the dumpster. They're still working on it. Yeah. So. They are. Still working on it. That is... A furry knuckle what? <laughs> There's the community fire pit. Oh, it was a sunflower head. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, for the squirrels or birds or. Yeah, yeah. It looked like it was. There's their community fire pit over there. Oh, I like those thick log seats. Mm hmm. Four hookup sites down here. So this is like a group site. You got like four or five people, and three or five, three or four, I should say. And I'll come down here and hang out. Together, yeah, that'd be cool. Table, fire pit, and we're all set. That was really it cool. Looks like they come from tractor supply or something like that. Or... Yeah. Nice as tables are now. Awesome. Bugs. It's so amazing to be somewhere that has good service. Oh, I know. <laughs> so the Wi Fi here is excellent. And uh, the ATT. And ATT has like full bars here. That's the only thing that has 
fucking service here, but that's cool. I have AT&T. So. And our Solus hotspot <laughs> runs off of any carrier, so it latched on to AT&T, but the Wi-Fi is fast enough to stream, so that's pretty good. It's funny to drive here, man. It's really out in the country in the middle of nowhere. Oh, absolutely. We had to do one of those, oops, we missed our street for our turn. Yeah. And just had to hope that we come across some little biker bar on the side of the road <laughs> so that we could whip through their uh, drive through Which we did. So these are lined up all down the row, which is cool. There's your view. Looks like they're making some more down in that area. And then here's our spot. Spot 11. Kind of all by itself, so I like that. You get into McKaysville, Georgia, and then from there it's a 40 mile drive up a two lane winding. Snake, you know what I mean? Say winding, I mean windy road, and we are in the middle of nowhere. It says low speed SD card. Low speed. Low speed. They sold me a low speed card. What does that mean? Low speed. Probably won't do anything over 1080p. Oh. That won't be good? Be okay. Maybe it'll work for more than that. But it would fit in with the events of the, the weekend. weekend. The drone recovery operation begin. It's like a video game. This is what happens when you don't pay attention or you listen to <laughs> At least we're co-pilots. Not oh, that'd be great. Let's move co-pilot. <laughs> co-pilot said, go on the gravel road. No, don't be afraid to drive backwards. It's hot. It is hot. And I have climbed up the side of this mountain, and I do mean mountain, looking for the drone. All I've found so far is briars. Well, no luck yet. I have managed to figure out where I'm at and the map up on my phone has given me my location pretty much give or take and that's right where I believe the drone is problem is searching is 
slow because it doesn't look like it this way, but if I turn it, the camera like this, that's the, <laughs> that's the side of the bank. That's, I'm holding the, cam uh, the camera straight, so searching is slow at that angle. I'm going to look for another 30 minutes or so and then that's going to call it quits. All right, fellas, ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap. Been up here for like an hour and a half working my tail off. I've put in enough effort that I can leave and not worry about it too, not feel guilty. But this world, this life, has a way of giving you things when you're not even looking for them. So I'm making my way back. And I'll be dang. I've been looking for that drone for an hour and a half. And I mean within a minute of me not looking for it. There it is. So quit looking so hard. So this is how I found it. Now I should be able to have the footage of uh, the crash. All right. So let's get back to the truck if we, if we can. <laughs> All right, guys. So we, I did make it back to the truck and I did find the drone, as you saw. Uh, a little worse for wear, but it only wouldn't fall, so that wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, we did manage to lose or an SD, card. It, an SD card with the entire day's footage um, from Bald River Falls and the Skyview Drive, and we can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Now uh, we've tore the camper apart. That goes with the theme of the weekend, I guess. But um, hopefully some of that footage will be coming soon whenever we find that. But uh, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please um, leave us a comment. Yeah, make sure and... you subscribe, hit that notification bell uh, so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Uh, and thank you to our Patreon, Terry Haynes. Uh, for his continued support, as always, and everyone that comments and watches the videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, until next time, take care of each other, love each other. And make every moment count. See you next time, guys.